let's identify the methods now so methods are found within the classes so this methods help us to modularize that means they help us to create small snippet of code which can be used in multiple places say you have created a class to uh, class for uh, material master so in those in that class you can have a method which says description give the description of the material so that can be one method in the other you can say give the price of the material so that can be another method so methods are small snippets which do specific function within the classes so let's check in the same program which we are looking so first we identify the classes it says type ref2 wherever you see a type ref2 it has to be a class and then when you say call method of obj1 get material that means obj1 is an instance of this class so class has the method get material get material so if i double click on this obj1 get material it will take me here so it is get material so in the get material what you are doing you are selecting uh, material number or material data up to 300 rows this is just for an example the same thing can be found in the standard class so this is a standard class because it does not start with z or y so it is cl underscore salv table this is a standard class which has a method called factory if i double click on factory it will take over here and then it has this code so this is how you identify a method how call method that is the keyword you need to remember so i am in my program in t code se38 so if i double click on this get material here it will take me to the method of the class similarly if i go back and come to the standard class so this is the standard class if i click on this factory i'll double click on the factory it takes me the code which is written in the method of that class so always remember class or call method is the uh, keyword and to open this program you have to go to se38 i think i have not told you till now um, but since you are functional so this has to be in t code se38